have this limit will be uh, infinity over infinity. So now we're going to do one example that's infinity minus infinity time. Okay. So this limit over here, this part here go to infinity as x going to infinity. This part also go to infinity. So it is a type infinity minus infinity type. So it is an indeterminate form. Okay, so it's not necessary equal to zero. Okay, remember. So the way to do this, one way to deal with it is try to rationalize it. Okay, so you see this radical over here. Okay, this side here, the square side here, is also called a radical side. So to rationalize it means uh, we times the conjugate of this up and down. So the conjugate of this is to change this difference here into a sum. So we'll be square root of x squared plus one and then change this minus here become a plus. So plus x over here. So this is a conjugate of this. Okay. So to rationalize this, uh, what we have done here is we multiply the conjugate of this up and down. Now by doing this, because of the difference of two square formula, remember a minus b times a plus b, that's equal to a square minus b square, right? Okay, so that will become the square of this square root is the square and square root are gonna cancel. So giving you x square plus one and then minus the square of this, so minus x square, okay? Now the denominator will be this, okay? Now we want to simplify it. So when you simplify this, you have one in the numerator and then you have this in the denominator. Let's see what happens when x go to infinity. This part here will go to infinity. This also go to positive infinity. So both of them go to positive infinity. So the denominator is going to positive infinity. So one over that is going to go to zero. So the limit here is zero. Now, in this case, this is equal to zero. But in other example, infinity minus infinity time is not necessarily equal to zero. So let's look at the next example. Again, this is going to be infinity minus infinity time. Um, you will be wrong to write this as uh, the limit of x squared subtract the limit of x because um, the limit law cannot be applied to infinite limit. So when the limit does not exist, you cannot write the limit of the difference as the difference of the limit, okay? So because infinity is not a real number, okay? So the correct way to do this is to, we can factor out this common factor X over here. We take out this common factor X, then we have this X times X minus one. And now x go to positive infinity, x minus one also go to positive infinity, positive infinity times positive infinity. Um, so that product here will go to positive infinity. So this limit here uh, does not exist, but the infinite limit here is positive infinity. Okay. Now we're going to talk about limit of some uh, composite of functions. So as you recall that the function dance move for inward tangent is like this, kind of like a chai chi move, right? So this is a graph for inward tangent or arc tangent of x with these two, uh, with these two horizontal asymptotes over here. And for e to the x, the dense move will be, remember our exponential fish, right? So when the base is greater than one, it's exponential increasing. Okay, so will be this part of fish. Okay, okay. So um, when the base is 
between the one will be this part of fish, right? Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Remember this graph for inward tangent of x or arctangent of x? Okay. Now we try to find this limit as x going to 2 from the right side. Um, what happened to arctangent of 1 over x minus 2? So it's a composition of this outer function, arctangent function, with this inner function 1 over x minus 2 here. So the first thing to do here is we're going to let this inner function over here to be a single variable. Uh, how about we let that to be t? So let t to be 1 over x minus 2. Now as x going to 2 from the right side, which means x is greater than 2, x minus 2 is going to oppose to 0 but it's going to stay positive because x is greater than 2. So the denominator over here going to 0, but stay positive. So 1 over that is going to go to positive infinity. So t going to positive infinity as x going to 2 from the right side. So this limit over here will be equal to this limit. So we place this part here by t and the t over here will go to infinity. When t goes to infinity, what does our tangent of t goes to? Well, take a look at the graph here. When this x goes to infinity, our tangent of x going to pi over 2. So this limit over here will be equal to pi over 2. So what we have done over here is we just let this inner function over here to be the single variable t. And we want to see what happens when x approaching to 2 from the right side, what does the t goes to? And then later on, we place this by t, and t go to this, and find the limit over here. So the second example here, when x going to 0 from the left side, um, this outer function is e to this power, and the inner function is this 1 over x. So we we'll let t to be this inner function, 1 over x. So let t equal to 1 over x. We want to find out what happened when x going to 0 from the left side. When x going to 0 from the left side, 1 over that is going to go to what? Did you just say negative infinity? Yes, this negative infinity. So what happened over here is this original limit here will be equal to the limit of e to the t, because 1 over x is replaced by t. And what does t go to? When x going to 0 from the left side, t go to negative infinity. So t go to negative infinity. Now, remember, I told you guys, it's very important to remember the graph for those basic functions. So I gave you guys the function dense and the handout to summarize all those functions. So when t go to negative infinity, so here's a graph for uh, e to the t, okay? So when t go to, when the exponent here go to negative infinity, you see that e to that is going to go to what? Zero, right? Getting closer and closer to, getting closer and closer to zero over here. Okay, do you see it? Okay, getting closer and closer to zero over here. Okay, so e to the t is going to zero. Next, we're going to talk about infinite limit at infinity. Uh, so, x cubed. So here's a dense move for x cubed. The graph is like this. When x goes to infinity on this end, you see uh, x cubed going to positive infinity, q1 going up. When x going to negative infinity, uh, x cubed going down to negative infinity. And for e to the x, when x going to infinity, so we see what happened on this end, uh, e to the x going to infinity. So those are called infinite limit. Remember, um, the limit here, uh, infinity or negative infinity, those are called infinite limit. And they are at infinity, which means uh, when x going to infinity or negative infinity. So those are called infinite limit at infinity or negative infinity. 